most people in divorce have more things in common than they have that divides them or separates them. Can you pick up on that a little bit? Because I think a lot sure. of people going through it, they probably lose sight of that. Yeah, you're absolutely right. They do. And, and, and of course, it's easiest to see with people that have young children, even grown children, because most people who've been through divorce, if they have children, if you ask them 10 years later what really mattered, it's going to be how their children got through this. Did they grow to be happy, healthy children with a good relationship with both parents? That's by far the most important thing. And if you agree on that, I mean, that's a common interest that almost both spouses almost always have. And that's a core, that's the most important piece. When you, when you, if you can focus on that, figuring out who gets the sofa, who gets this or that, or you'll become far less important. And so that's the easiest piece, but there are other pieces, even for people, I'm amazed that people that don't, even people that don't have children and have a common relationship, want to honor what they've had together, that they have a re relationship that sure it is, it has fallen apart, but they don't want to dishonor that. I've seen people without children who really care about being friends in a post-divorce world, or even doing this with integrity. And so that's a common interest. Um, even the idea of keeping costs down and not giving everything you've saved to lawyers is a common interest. And so, and, and getting your own well-being, your own mental health and having some healing is a common interest. So nobody has to lose for those things to happen. Now, sure, there are differences. There's only so many dollars to go around and there's only so many hours in the lives of the children. But those differences become easier to um, work through once you've built on the common interest. And one of the first things we do in a collaborative case is we sit down with both spouses and we ask them what their big picture goals are. What do they care about at the highest level? And they will almost always describe things that are common, that are in common. If I could sit with one spouse in a room privately and write the highest level goals and sit with the other spouse privately and do the same, they would overlap on 80 or 90 percent of the big picture goals. And that's the part that's missing. We don't realize these people have things that are in common. And ironically, when I was doing litigation or, or tr even traditional negotiation, we not only didn't preserve those things, we damaged them. If their relationship with their spouse was the most important thing, we were damaging that. It's, it's, it's the biggest asset they have. And we didn't realize we were crushing that while we were, we were getting them $2,000 more in the financial settlement and damaging by far the most important asset by trampling over the relationship, sometimes unwittingly. So.